Mail Max dashboard. Note that the dashboard automatically zooms to the width of the browser window. To see the entire dashboard, simply go to the edge of the browser window and adjust the width. The dashboard will resize automatically. For the beginning of this tutorial, we will use the dashboard enlarged. The dashboard dial shows the stable speeds in green and the unstable in red. Yellow is conditionally stable with a risk of chatter. The width and depth of cut are selected on the right graphic. You can also manually enter the speed, feed, width and depth of cut. You can convert between RPM and surface speed. You can convert between inch and metric, as well as a percentage of the cutter diameter. The dashboard will automatically calculate the metal removal rate. The dashboard predicts surface location error where the brighter green is the most accurate speed. The dashboard predicts surface finish, where the speed on the line graph that is closest to the bottom yields the best finish. Click links and then dashboard number 1. Set the depth of cut to 1 inch and the width of cut to 20%. This is the speed and feed chart for MA42 flute end mill in aluminum. Use the recommended 1800 SFM or 9167 RPM and feed rate of 0.0465 inches per tooth using the chart's multiplier. Note that these parameters exceed the power limits of the machine. Reduce feed per tooth to 0.035 inches per tooth or 642 inches per minute. Now let's try a faster speed. Reduce the feed rate to 0.020 inches per tooth and increase speed to 11,180 RPM. Increase the width of cut to 28%. Click links and then dashboard number 2. Set the depth of cut to 1 inch and the width of cut to 20%. This is the speed and feed chart for ATS's 3 flute end mill in aluminum. Set the SFM to 1200 and the feed rate to 0.0178 inches per tooth. This is an example of a bad tool and tool holder combination with no good speeds above 950 RPM. Not good enough for aluminum. You can also see that there are no accurate or good surface finish speeds. Click links and then dashboard number 3. Set the depth of cut to 1.25 inches and the width of cut to 10%. This is the speed and feed chart for Kenametal's 5 flute end mill and material code P1. The recommended speed is 660 SFM and the feed rates is 0.0044 inches per tooth. Adjust the dashboard to the suggested surface speed of 660 SFM or 3361 RPM and feed rate of 0.0044 inches per tooth or 74 inches per minute. This is an example of how a manufacturer's recommended speed can be in a chatter zone. Let's optimize the speed and feed to see what happens. Let's go to the SFM optimizer on your iPhone. Tap the SFM optimizer icon. You can open this calculator on your computer or iPad by going to www.taptest.co slash SFM dash optimizer. Enter Canametal's parameters of 660 SFM and 0.0044 inches per tooth. Set the radial width of cut to 10%. The optimized speed is 924 SFM or 4706 RPM and feed rate is 0.007 inches per tooth or 165 inches per minute. Adjust the dashboard to these parameters. The speed is precariously close to the edge of stability so adjust it down to the middle of the green zone at 4500 RPM. The metal removal rate increases from 6.93 cubic inches per minute with the manufacturer's recommendations, and in chatter, to a stable 14.75. If you are willing to push the surface limit you could also run stable at 6000 RPM and 10 210 inches per minute, increasing the metal removal rate to 19.69 cubic inches per minute. That is a three-time improvement over the manufacturer's recommendations. If we are going for the highest surface accuracy, choose a speed that is bright green on the heat map but still stable at the radial width of cut you want to use for your final pass. If you are looking for the best surface finish, choose a speed that is the lowest point on this graph that is still stable at the radial width of cut you chose. A new feature of the dashboard are links that will directly open the tool or tool holder listing on mscdirect.com for easy ordering.